In order to prove 1 plus cotangent of x times tan of y is equal to sine of x plus y over sine of x cos y, we're going to apply a few trig identities. Now these problems tend to be quite complex. I find it usually helps to pick the most complex side and start there. <laughs> but sometimes it's even difficult to do that. In this particular problem, no matter which side you choose, you'll likely experience a point where you have to take a confusing and non-intuitive step. The left side of this problem is decently complex. We have cotangent x and tan y, and we also have addition. Usually with identity problems, I like to start on the side with addition, because if there's addition and eventually fractions involved, things tend to get messy, but messiness is good in trig identity problems. However, the right side of this problem is also quite enticing, as it contains a very obvious compound angle expression in the numerator. Honestly, these sides are probably equal in complexity, so I'm just going to start on this side because I personally find compound angle situations more interesting. So as I mentioned, the numerator of the right side contains what's called a compound angle expression. In this case, the sine of one angle plus another. If you studied these before, you know that there are a whole pile of these available for use in trig identity problems, and they all look quite similar. However, in our original problem, we have sine of x plus y in the numerator. So we'll pick on this identity to replace sine of x plus y with this monster. Now in most trig identity problems, it has to get worse before it gets better. If you're relatively new to identities and you were attempting this problem on your own, odds are this is the point where you'd get stuck. This is the non-intuitive part that doesn't just jump out at you. But essentially what I have here is a fraction, and in the numerator I have addition. So I can break this fraction up into a sum of two fractions, each with the same denominator. You can check using addition of fractions that if I add these two together, I get the original expression that I just had. Now this is exciting, because on the left, I have sine x cos y over itself, and we know anything divided by itself is 1. Now if you peek back at the left hand side, this should make you happy. So let's look at what's left. If you've been studying identities, you know that cos over sine is cotangent, and sine over cos is tan. Replacing what's there with cotangent of x times tan of y allows us to conclude that the left hand side does in fact equal the right. And this is the part of the trig identity problem where you just sit back and enjoy the feeling of showing that two really complex looking mathematical expressions are in fact equal. And you want to go tell a friend, but you know that no one's really going to care. So instead, you just like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.